So pick this. Now, I'm sure a number of us remember the blossoming friendship between Mtalemwanza and Sarafina Ntenga, a.k.a. Vakopala. When Sarafina got her Youth Empowerment Fund, you remember her flying to Lusaka and she was well received by Mtalemwanza, posting videos at Mtale's place and um, in Mtale's Range Rover. And everything seemed buddy-buddy and everything seemed good until one time there were rumors that Sarafina had been thrown out of Mtale's house by fire, by force. So at that time we didn't know if the rumors were true, but since that time there's been a lot of shade thrown by both of them to each other. And um, today, <laughs> today was actually a really funny example of that. So there's a page on Facebook called Lusaka News. It's got about 95,000 followers, so it's got quite a big following. They posted a picture of Mtalemonza with the caption, one of the richest youths in Zambia. Now, the caption got quite a number of likes and quite a number of comments, but one of the comments stood out because the comment was from Bakopala herself. And the comment reads, Beans, rich youth, my ass. Mwabako na wino. Rich people don't even speak or show off. In Zambia, we admire a lot of lies. Now, obviously, that comment got a lot of reactions, but one reaction stood out where a fan posted some... I don't know what to call this. What do you call this emoji? <laughs> but anyway, you see it on screen. To which Serafina replied, Stop being fooled, please. It's all beans. And then another fan replies, Serafina Tenga, how can it be beans when she is staying in the same mansion and driving the Range Rover? Question mark. To which Serafina replied, you mean renting with laughing emojis. Now, damn, this is this is pretty savage from Serafina. You know what I mean? If this doesn't confirm that the two are seriously beefing, then I don't know what will. You know what I mean? The honest truth is I have to do a bit more digging to find out what really happened between the two of them. I know we're like all interested, but for it to reach a level where Serafina can openly post comments about her former bestie, you know what I mean, demeaning her and saying she's not as affluent as it seems or as she seems, then something big must have really happened, you know? So, as to Serafina's comments, I, I can neither confirm nor deny, but all I can say is, you know, sometimes people do show lives that they don't, uh, that they can truly not afford on social media, you know what I mean? They go to great extents and lengths to prove that they're wealthy or that they're doing well to show people that I'm on this level and you're not on my level. I'm not saying that's the case with Mdalem ones, that's just... From what I've noticed in general, you know what I mean? It's a cautionary tale because I've seen it so many times with even people that I know. You know, people will do anything to get a, a photo maybe next to like a Range Rover, you know what I mean? And say it's theirs. Very unnecessary. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, so that is the current case. There have been a lot of other sightings of Sarafina posting little jabs, you know what I mean, towards her friend. I haven't seen anything from Tala's side. She's kept quiet. For some reason but i hope at one point we'll get to hear what actually happened between these two because it's weird for like a friendship to go from like bestie and buddy buddy and lovey dovey to all this shade and all these shots being fired you know so for us people who are interested or for y'all who are interested like they need to provide some context you know what i mean they can't just keep throwing shots at each other because one day they'll meet and <laughs> Things might not go over well, but my suggestion is I suggest someone organizes like a celebrity boxing match for charity, of course. All proceeds go to charity. I would pay to watch that film. You know what I mean? That would be interesting. That would be really interesting. So, yeah. Um, what do you guys think about Serafina's comments, though? Do you think it's just coming from a place of spite and a place of hate? Or do you think... Mtalemonza is really just faking the lifestyle and faking the funk. Please feel free to comment in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.